go get her. They always dumb me. But the thing you have to remember about Henry as the play fake goes to him there. Second goal touchdown. Likely. Got it. And he beat the line. Yes, sir. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another banger with y'all, man. Hey, yo. Where the, yo, where the papers at? Where the grabber? Where your duchess? Where your leaves? We small in that Bengals pack right now. Oh my goodness, now what a hell of a game the Ravens have played. Shout out to Lamar Jackson. Shout out to Marlon Humphrey. Shout out to Derrick Henry. Shout out to everybody that brought the A game. See, there's a thing right here. See, I love the fact that the offense can definitely hold these games, but the problem is the defense. Now, we're going to talk about the offense over the defense. Now, the offense. Shout out to Derrick Henry, man. I'm going to start with Derrick Henry because Derrick Henry was the guy that closed this game out. Now, I'm going to let the, I'm this game, you know, I'm saying Derrick Henry not really in the game that much, but I think the Ravens did uh, kind of not have a good job with the rotations. What I mean is, if you're looking at the beginning of the game, you seen Derrick Henry out there getting shut down, not getting what he want. You know, he's had a slow start. But the Ravens did it. I think the Ravens got to do better as, like, you know, with the rotations. Like, you putting Justice Hill in the third quarter. See, the Ravens got to do better in these third quarters, man. Because I'm telling you, every time we get in these third quarters, it's like we always slip away. And this game, this game was not supposed to be how it was supposed to be at all. Now, you know, with the running backs, they did a good job showing the clock out and just doing what they're supposed to do. And with addition to Lamar Jackson, that definitely put a um uh, that put that, that put us, that put us over the hump in this game spot when it comes to the run game and I love what I, I'm loving with these trio bringing to the table and uh, Lamar Jackson, man, you the goat, bro. I ain't gonna lie, but this one play right here was pissing me off. Like, how could you do this, man? See, we could have easily lost the game, but I'm glad you made up for it, man. You know, like I said, you the goat, man. You know, I, I gotta give credit where it's due. Like, you stepped up when it, was, when it mattered the most, and you just get better and better. Like, you don't got to, Lamar Jackson, stop proving the media that you're better than what they think. It's time to we'll get a rank, man. This is our year. We got the running crew. Keith Mitchell ain't even come back yet. We're going to see, man. And also, with the wide receivers, I love what the wide receivers had brought today. I, I love the fact that Rashad Bateman kind of stepped up, but Rashad Bateman, you ain't Jamal Chase, you ain't Justin Jefferson, you ain't Garrett Wilson, you ain't no C.D. Lamb. You got to be better out there, man. You had like over, what, over 50 yards. That's cool, but come on, man. You, I know you try to compete with Jamal Chase, and Jamal Chase doing whatever. He won it out there, so we ain't even going to talk about that. But like I was saying, with the wide receivers, I love the fact that Zay Flowers stepped up like he always do. He's the number one go-to guy. And I love the fact that Ravens, the Ravens have bought in uh, Tylen Wallace. You know, like Tylen Wallace is very underrated. Like he can catch, he's he can catch off the, he can catch after the run, after the pass. Like y'all gotta put this guy more in the game, man. I love, I love what Tylen Wallace is bringing to the table. I think the Ravens really see on that wide receiver. And also Nelson Aguilar, man, I was so pissed off when he missed that. Oh, my God. Lamar Jackson was just doing too much at first. And this is the problem. See, like, the secondary always have a way to shut us out. But we just got to figure out how to keep going. And the Ravens offense definitely carried this game. Like, I don't care what nobody say. Like, shout the Ravens over everything. Shout out to all the Ravens, you know, platforms. Um, you know, y'all know what's up. Like, see, John Harbaugh's problem is he want to make all these stupid decisions. Like, stop trying to call timeouts at the last minute. Like, that got to stop, man. Like, John Harbaugh, please do not call timeouts when it's, like, eight minutes left in the fourth quarter, like, or five minutes. You don't got to do that. Play smart. And luckily, we got away with this one. But like I said, um, the wide receivers are good. They, uh, every piece of power from the offense, of course. And uh, Derrick Henry was the one that closed the game out, as he should. Like, this man really joined the company with Emmitt Smith, LaDamian Thompson. Like, this man got over 10,000 rushing y'all. So, it was time for him to make his mark and get things happening and get things going for this game right here. And all uh, the tight ends. 
Shout out to the Titans. I didn't see too much from Isaiah Likely. Like I said, those two guys are definitely like just taking their turns in each game. And I think that's really smart from the Ravens. If you're gonna if you're the Ravens right now and you got these two great tight ends, I think the Ravens should give these guys each game to really show up because like Isaiah had uh, two touchdowns and Mark Andrews had a touchdown, Derrick Henry had a touchdown, Lamar had a touchdown, Rashad Bigley had a touchdown. Like these two offensive teams was going at it, man. And, and and this is the game of the year right now. I don't care what nobody said. I know I'm all over the place with video, but I'm just really excited for this Ravens offense. And saying what I seen today and not giving up, that's the Ravens. That's the way the Ravens offense should play each and every week. I know we got, uh, you know, Washington next week, which is gonna be another tough game because that's another another offensive power team that's hot right now in the uh, NFC East. So we're gonna talk about that in the prediction video, but. Like I said, shout out to the Ravens offense, man. Y'all did y'all thing. Y'all held it on. Y'all did a great job in the defense. So, shout out to the offense. And the defense, the defense, the defense, the defense. Now, oh, my goodness. Y'all had this man, Joe Barrow, looking scared out there. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this. Look at him. Looking scared. He don't know what to do. This man panicking. And shout out to Justin Better BK. Shout out to Odolfi Owe. Even though you almost got a, a ejection or a foul just because you landed on the guy tackling. But sometimes it's football. You know, it's physical. So you really can't blame what players are going to do. And I think that's not fair. So um, the Ravens defense did a, did a good job in closing the game out. But I didn't like what I seen, you know, without giving these teams chance to come back. And it was not looking too good in the early fourth quarter and late third quarter. I thought the game was over, and I was saying what I was saying. Especially when Lamar had um, – when he ready for that pass, and the defense was – y'all was giving – see, the problem with this defense, y'all give these teams too many second chance to come back. That got to stop. Like, for the past week, it feel like we're good, but it feel like we just have things that we have to work on. Like, we the Baltimore Ravens. We are a physical defensive team. That really get to quarterbacks and shut down teams. We need to really stay focused on that propaganda, you know, because that's the protocol. But yeah, um, the the defense, uh, Roquan Smith, um, tackling was good. But come on, man, you was letting guys, you was getting bred up in that middle, man. And uh, shout out to my man Marlon Humphrey too, man. Marlon Humphrey, you you the the, uh, the game, you know, the ball, football, whatever game after the post game conference, like you deserve it, man, because you definitely. Was the cat? You definitely with the X factor when it came to this game, man. So this defense just got some work to do, man. I was not looking what I seen at all with this defense. I was very disappointed. Now I'm not gonna just say the defense was okay because it wasn't. And it still got. And they still need time. They need any things to work on when it comes to just come back in the second half. Cause I'm tired of keep saying the same results each and every time. The offense. Low key is bailing us out. Anyway, the defense. Cause truth be told, the defense is giving. Cincinnati Bengals, too many chances, too many third down conversions. The Ravens got to do a good job of shutting down, you know, play, uh, teams on third down, third downs. And, the, and actually, this game was a blessing in disguise because the Ravens still got work to do. They still got work to do as a team, you know, to really, you know, go hard and go in. So, and facing this commanders team, it's going to be very similar. So, we got to be ready this upcoming week. And shout out to the MVP of the game, man. I'm going to start giving players MVP. I think I'm gonna, you know, do something uh, new with these videos and these recaps. But um, Marlon, Marlon Humphrey definitely deserved it, man. Shout out to Marlon Humphrey, man. You did it. I'm proud of you. You know, you did your thing. And uh, this is a, like I said, this is one hell of a game. And without that pick, man, I don't know where we'd be. We, even, even we never got that pick. So shout out to Mr. Marlon Humphrey, man. He definitely doing bigger and better things for us. And, and truth be told, he should be, he should be easily. Easily it should be def def defensive player of the year because Marlon Humphrey has been killing it, man. And for the rest of the secondary, Brandon Stevens, get, 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 get better that man to man. Because you getting put up in that man to man. You had T. Higgins burning you up. You had Jamal Chase burning you up. That got to stop, man. Like, I don't care what nobody say, man. That got to stop. I'm tired of Keith saying I get brought up in that man to man coverage. Shout out to Kyle Hamilton. He got some sacks. But it's just like this secondary just have some weaknesses, and that's the middle, and that, that has to stop. Like, you can't let teams get first downs, first downs, 10 yards, 15 yards. You cannot let teams march and get these advantages to come back. So I'm definitely seeing a bigger and better, um, stronger Ravens team, you know, each and every week. They just got to look at this film and see what it can, can do moving forward. But I'm proud of this back-to-back -back when we never gave up. They stood 10 toes down. 
like I said, I'm 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 just very shocked by this one. I know I'm all, I know I'm all over the place. If I miss anything for this video, y'all hit that comment section. Thanks for all my supporters, all my subscribers. Like I said, shout out to uh, Ravens over everything. Like I support this channel. He be having that real exclusive uh, content. Um, everybody, all the Ravens content creators, shout out to y'all as well, man. Like I said, we played a hell of a game. And like I said, before I end this video, this got to stop, man. Stop giving teams coming. Look at Jamal Chase. Jamal Chase doing whatever he wanted. T. Higgins doing whatever he wanted. That got to stop, man. But for the defense, I give y'all uh, give y'all a D plus. And for the offense, I give y'all A minus. But I'm out with the world. Y'all have a good one. Y'all stay blessed. Stay safe. And uh, peace.